Hey, pretty girl club. So I'm just back with a quick video. I'm in my car and I'm just thinking like, so have y'all ever noticed as like lighter skinned women, we're not allowed to call ourselves like pretty or beautiful or any of that without getting the label of conceited, colorist, stuck up, or any of those negative titles like, or who does she think she is or this passive aggressive behavior with the eye rolling and the energy and all of that like if you even feel like if you're feeling yourself today like I feel cute today so you're walking with your head high you're walking like you know you look good today <laughs> like today I was feeling myself at work today and I could tell the basic Bettys were mad today I literally work with a whole bunch of them a whole bunch of let me not go there but yeah they you know they when my energy is like extra like when I'm in a super good mood and I look good they get so mad and like they start giving me passive aggressive energy they speak to everybody else and they'll not acknowledge me it'll be stuff like that or you know what I'm saying or it'll be <laughs> And there's this lady, this older woman that I work with, and I've mentioned her a couple of times. This is the older lady that always takes like low key shots at me. Like she, like she's, um, like for example, when I first started, it was like a couple of months into working there. And I don't know if you guys remember that story I told about eye candy. Basically there was this guy that used to work here and he was an exotical male, very, very attractive, very attractive, and he liked me, and it wasn't a secret or anything. It was an unspoken attraction between me and him, but that was just our business. Nobody else, people just saw us together and assumed and started rumors and all of this stuff, and she apparently used to mess around with him. When I say this lady is old, she's in her, she's like 69. But I remember one day sitting at the table with, you know, all the ambiguous women that worked there. This was a couple months ago before I was still filling people out and stuff. And I remember her just randomly saying out the blue. We were having a conversation, mind you, about probably like the news or something random. Something that had nothing to do with what she was about to say. But what she said was, like she was just talking about, yeah, it was, like, let's just say the conversation was about weather or something. It was about something random. Like, yeah, it was raining yesterday, and I didn't get, wash my car today. But, oh, yeah, did y'all know I used to mess with, insert eye candy's name? Yeah, we used to mess around. Like, just imagine, like, I didn't even know how to respond. Like, because it was, like, she was assuming that me and him were messing around, I guess. And that she was feeling some type of way. She wasn't the only one feeling some type of way. A couple of females in there was feeling some type of way because he liked me and not... I don't know. I can't do nothing about who he likes. I can't. But people saw this, and that's another reason why a lot of them treat me different to this day. Mind you, this dude don't even work here no more. But these basic Bettys are still salty about that. Because they still treat me accordingly. I get treated differently. Even though I'm supposed to be black like y'all. I'm not even mixed race. Like I'm fully black. But I'm the only one excluded out of the black people crew. Okay. But we're all black. So next time I hear somebody saying that. Like nah. That's not even a little bit real. I guess I'm not black enough. And I get too much male attention. I don't know. But you're not allowed to call yourselves pretty at pretty girls you're just as as exotical especially we get the most hate and let's just say what's wrong with being conceited by the way what is wrong with that i've gotten to a point where i don't even care if people think i'm conceited or not anymore because so what am i hurting anybody no <laughs> i'm not hurting anybody I, if i have confidence self-confidence isn't that a good thing but people treat me like I'm not supposed to have confidence because I actually look good. If you're ugly with confidence, you know it's okay. You can do that. But if you're actually pretty with confidence, oh, you can't do that. <laughs> I don't I don't get it. I just don't get it. But 
like I remember used to hesitate to call myself pretty around a certain group of people unambiguous black women and it was always a subconscious thing to not either compliment myself too much around or because I just somehow just knew not to do that because of how I looked I looked different apparently you know I was lighter before I even was hip to this exoticals like we're different I thought we were I thought I was monoracial black just like everybody else but because I thought I was different somehow I didn't fit in in any of but I thought it you know I you know at one point it was because I thought I was just too pretty but now it's a mixture of being pretty how I look I look mixed race in the face even though I'm fully I'm like I'm getting my DNA results like any day now but I'm pretty sure I'm like 90 80 90 percent black 90 or 80 percent full black and <laughs> this will probably be a real quick video I might do a Q&A video pretty soon um, if you guys want me to answer any questions just put your questions down in the comments and I'll I'll you know gather all the questions and make a Q&A video that's coming up very soon but yeah if you're a black passing exotical and you're actually really you're attractive <laughs> you trigger people's emotions it's like you already have a light about you you look good you're taking all the attention from the male gaze I think that's one of the biggest things about it. and it's not like <laughs> If you guys would, if the basic Bettys would level up, you guys would get male attention as well. Like I, it's not like something you can go without unless you just feel like you're truly unattractive and you can never change anything about yourself. But in this day and age, it's possible to meet your internal beauty, beauty standards or to look good in your own, your own phenol, how you want to look in your own phenotype. You got to just take care of yourself. Walk with your head high, walk with confidence. Know you're the bitch. You know, <laughs> know you're that bitch, okay? And people will see that. Don't be such a nasty girl. You know, have, a, have some integrity about yourself. Have some respect for yourself. Have a aura, be, a, be caring, and you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> what people are not gonna do is judge me because I look good i'm not gonna let people's opinions and passive aggressive behavior bother me ever again because that that's what they want they want me to feel some type of way and it's not gonna work nope not anymore so it's okay to be pretty light skin it's okay to own your light skin people put light skin on such a high pedestal that if you even call yourself light skin they think you need to be humbled for which is not even this is the color you were born. You're allowed to call yourself your light skin. You're allowed to love your light skin because that's what God, that's how God made you. They're allowed to love their skin color and be praised for it. But if you have any inch of melanin in your skin and you call yourself light skin, I noticed the internet will chew you up. They'll laugh. They'll be like, I, I went on TikTok the other day and I was looking for examples of exotical women online and when I would come across a lighter skinned woman I remember looking in the comments and seeing people like like let's say she's like my color like even a shade lighter than me or a shade darker than me they'll be in the comments via yeah, like she's not even that light skinned I'm confused here what is she talking about let's say her description said um team light skin or something something light skin referring to herself people are going to go in in the comments it's like crazy so people put light skin on such a high pedestal but if you say but people put light skin on such a high pedestal but if you say you're dark skin and let's say you're not even that dark they're not gonna go in they're gonna be like hey yeah girl yeah it's so confusing to me it's so confusing but own your skin tone because that's how you were born black people are not a monolith we come in all shapes colors it's skin it's just skin it's an organ <laughs> so don't let people gaslight you into not feeling like you can feel yourself like don't let people guilt you into having confidence about how you look if you're a lighter skin exotical even if you have type 3 hair and you're a darker skin exotical don't let people shame you for loving your hair flex your hair 
wave that hair in front of them. You know, you know, like the, you know, like the movies, like where the girl with the long hair, like push, like, like to the haters, like wipe, wipe your hair to the haters. Like y'all know what I'm saying? Like flip your hair to the haters. Just flip your hair, flip the hair to the haters. <laughs> Make them mad because that's all they gonna do is be mad. That's all they know how to do is be mad. So let them be mad. Give them something to be mad about even more. So, haters gonna hate. It is what it is. <laughs> if you are getting conceited, it's okay. Own it. You know, it's better to be conceited than having an inferiority complex, if you ask me. I would rather be conceited. It just feels better to love yourself than to not love yourself. So... Conceited is not a bad thing. Unless you're just bullying people. But, you know. You're, you are allowed to love yourself. You just are. That's all I really wanted to talk about. <sighs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for listening.